saw World War III. We tried to hit this last week, so let's try to do it now. Jeremiah 49, verse 7. We're going to read 22. Let's see what his spirit takes us. Wait for this thing to go down. Time to go down. Please bear with me, brothers. And we in that time, man. Beckham, Beckham 2 is, is in full effect, man. Oh, yeah. These prophecies are speaking, man, and not, they're not being sounded. These, these, this is the last, like we've been saying, here at GMS. Pound for pound, baby. GMS is pound for pound. The number one out there. And why is that? Because we teach that the market and beast is the microchip. Go ahead, you got it? Okay, what was that, Jeremiah? Jeremiah 49, verse 7. We're going to try to read down to verse 22. Jeremiah 49 and 7. It says, Concerning Edom, thus saith the Lord of hosts. Concerning Post. Edom. That's the topic right there. Concerning Edom. Because now what they're teaching is, you, you people that call yourself Israelites, you so-called black people, you're not the Israelites. Oh, then they went as far as saying, the Israelites never exist. Forget about whether you're Israelite or not. There's no such thing as Israelites. All right? But now, there's no such thing as Edomites. Edomites have never existed. There's no such thing as Israelites, and there's no such thing as Edomites. But everybody else, they, they were here. Some guy just put, he, let, me, let me go into everybody's Bible and yeah. put in Israel he, yeah. all the verses. How stupid is that, man? There's no such thing as Israelites, and there's no such thing as uh, Edomites. Look, the Israelites are here, and the Edomites are here. And the Edomites are oppressing the Israelites. That's right. We are the Israelites. That's and you get ready to be up on our foot. Yep. Our feet. Go ahead. Uh, Ecclesiastes 4 and 16. There is no end of all the people, even of all that have been before them. They also that come after shall not rejoice in him. Surely this also is va vanity and vexation of spirit. Well, there will be an end to uh, uh, one particular people. That's the Edomites. Shalom. Shalom. I got another one. Set it up. There you go. You want it? Yes, sir. All right, all right. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. Oh man, I was going to start at 14. Well, I'll start at 14. Yeah. I know you that I know that whatsoever the Most High doeth, it shall be forever. Mm. Uh, nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And the Most High doeth it, that men should fear before him. That's it. Uh, the 15th verse, that which have been is now, and that which is to be have already been. And the Heavenly Father required that which is past. Yeah. That's yeah, so you got to pay for what you did. All the heinous crimes that you committed, heinous. you're going to have to pay for that, man. We went into slavery, now you got to go into slavery. That's it. Everything's being spiritually flipped around. That's it. That's it. Come on, come so on. Go ahead, let's go. Jeremiah, back in Jeremiah 49, 7, concerning Edom, thus saith the Lord of hosts, is wisdom no more in Teman? Is counsel perish from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? Uh, no, because they got, see their last hurrah is this technology. Right. The, the MOTB, the 5G, which all the, 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 uh, the uh, what do you call it, the, uh, the jab, you know, the Crown Vic Royale, it all, it all, it, it's all universal. It all, it all turns to, into one, you know? Yep. yep. And the average people, they don't see it. They don't see what's going on. Ba basically, hey, what's up, brother? Right, right. Go ahead. Yep. Uh, Jeremiah 4, 49 and 7. Concerning Edom, thus saith the Lord of hosts, is wisdom no more in Teman, is counsel perish from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? Uh, so who's the wisest of all the Edomites? The Temanites, which right. are the Germans. So they're, they're, they're not going to have any ways out of it. 
they're not going to have a solution out of this thing. See, what they're doing is they know that they're going into captivity. They know that the Israel, the true Israelites are going to be set up, that this system is going to be destroyed, that Babylon the Great is America, that is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction and, and the lasers, as you always bring out, from the ships of the angels. Now, I did a video a couple of days ago. I don't know if anybody watched the video, but I was going into, uh, I believe that was numbers about the uh, mixed multitude. As a matter of fact, it's called the mixed multitude. Yep. And it said how when Jake was uh, complaining to Moses, do you know that Moses I was telling the, the uh, operator of the ship to, to, to shoot him, to burn him? Yeah, it was bad. Yeah, you know? Yeah, it was bad. Hey, what, what does it mean? That the ship was up there, and the ship just didn't give light. It burned people, man. Yeah, yeah. It said it burned them at the uttermost parts of the camp. Yep. So there was lasers coming out. They were just yeah, like you know. So there was a lot of heavy stuff, unexplained stuff going on in that wilderness, man. Yeah. yeah. And remember, the wilderness was pitch black dark. Mm. Black dark, man. Miriam was put out for like seven I days. I was just going to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just wow. going to say that, man. There were no street lamps. There were no street lamps. Damn. There were no flashlights. The only time you got light was if you did a touch. Yeah. yeah. You know? Other than that, it was pitch black and dark for 40 years. Yep. So they would have daytime and they would have nighttime. Yep. And then the light came from that ship, that gigantic ship, that pillar of uh, cloud of, by day and a pillar of fire by night. And that same pillar of cloud by day used to strike them Israelites, man. Yep. So, he, and like I said, I've been saying, though the mixed multitude, the most high was picking them off. You know what I'm saying? He was picking, he was picking them off, because none of them came into the book and uh, the promised land. Right. Go ahead. Yep. Uh, the eighth verse. It says, uh, flee ye, turn back, dwell deep, O inhabitants of the dawn, for I will so I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him, the time that I will visit him. And that's talking about Yahushai coming back with those chariots. That's why uh, the so-called Germans, their wisdom is going to fail them, because they they won't be able to do nothing against Yahushai and the angels. Right. That's that's the ultimate power right there. Because they they create they're the scientists. Yeah. They create the weapons. What are they going to do? Against you, how we shine the angels. And, and, and the most, the, the most high, how about you, how we gave them the technology. Exactly. That's why that Edomite said that this technology of the ships are anywhere from a hundred to a thousand years beyond ours. Right. Now let's, let's, let's just deal with the hundred. Let's be modest. It's uh, 20, 2021, right? Yeah. 20, what is a hundred years from now is uh, what, what is it? 2021? 20, yeah. 21, 20, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21. Yeah. Yeah. Could you imagine the technology that Esau can reach in 2021? Well, they said the, the, the technology in these ships, which are the angels, are 100 years, but he said anywhere from 100 years to 1,000 years. So that's 30, 20. So that means when, when the angels come, that's your ass. So that's your ass. Oh, the hand jail. Matter of fact, um, not too long ago, Elder Pastor, you did a video. You yeah, mentioned just, about the pictures just paused. I mean, they're still recording. Okay. They're probably messing with it. Yeah, they mess. They, uh, even, all brothers you are saying the that, that they're messing. Yeah. But, but it's right. still recording. Yeah. As long as they, y'all can hear us. Um, yeah. Uh, there was an apparition uh, of the chariots and whatnot, and. Um, I forgot how it went. Uh, one man prayed that the apparition be turned to them for good. good. Yeah, oh, to yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the apparition was so was that powerful. Apocryphal? That's yeah, in yeah, the yeah, Maccabees. Yeah, yeah. 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 So what I'm doing is I'm using that as an example of how powerful it is when Yahushua and the angels come. Let's not forget uh, the disciples. They were gay as Yahushua was being taken up into the heavens <laughs> by a chariot. They were gazing, and then they had a couple of. They had, had a couple of angels. The angels said to the disciples, "Why are you standing there gazing? 
This man that you see going up into the heavens is coming back the same way. So, and then, <laughs> I'm sorry to add to it, there's a scripture where it says, Yahweh Shai coming back in great power and glory. What does that mean? He will not meet you as a man. He will not right. meet you as a man. So, so Esau, you got a real force. You got a real force to reckon with. You got a real force to reckon with when Yahweh Shai and the angels come back. You won't be able to deal with that force. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's, that's, that's all right, that's all right, that's all right. Hey, you know what happens? Hey, you know what happens? This is live. No, no, this is live. When they hear the music, they 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 cut it. Yeah. The algorithm, YouTube. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Take the video down. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Right. Right. Um, yep, yep. Uh, Jeremiah 49 and 9. If grape gatherers come to thee, would they, would they not leave some gleaning grapes? If thieves by night, they will destroy till they have enough. Tenth verse. But I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places. So he, what is his secret places? His secret places is his secrets too. Yeah, secret society. The secret oh, yeah. society, man. You go back 20, 25, 30 years ago, ain't nobody know about the Rothschilds and Illuminati, but we did. We knew about it way back then, man. That's right. Now you got people in the hip hop community because they all sold out, but now they, their conscience is bothering them and they're coming out saying what's going on, man. And a lot of them is being put, you know, they're getting put off to death. too. They're getting, they're getting off. Because yeah. they don't bite the hand that feeds you or fed you. Look at DMX. That's what happened with DMX. He bit the hand that fed him and he said, oh, we get rid of this moron. <laughs> he's, he's, we don't need him anymore. Yeah, because wasn't he getting ready to come come do a tour and do a new album and everything? Yeah. Yeah. The same thing happened to Michael Jackson. Prince. The, uh, the Prince. Yep. Yep. Yeah, look at that. Hey, well, Prince said that. He said he has a vault full of music. And it's going to be released, but he's not going to be the one to release it. Yeah, what you people are going to learn is a lot more than talent. You literally got to sell your soul to these higher-ups. Yep. You got to do things that do goes things, against morals. Things. Right? And, and, and whenever they call upon you to do something terrible, you got to do it. Yeah. Hey, well, you got to kill your mother. Yep. Kill your firstborn. Kill your, your, your latest trip child. And say it's an accident. Your aunt, your mom, your dad. Yeah. Hey, you know that the, the, um, Satan when when the, uh, when he was tempting you, was shy. He told him, "Look, the world, everything you see is mine. Yep. It was given to me, and whomever I give it to, I will." Then he told. Then Satan told you, shy if you will bow down and before worship. me and worship me." Yeah. So there you go. I have a precept. Yeah. Is it Matthew chapter 16, verse 24? Good. Then said Yahweh Shai unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Mm. Well, we were talking about that in the car with the little English boy. Yeah. He said, when you take these uh, machinations, you literally sell your soul. Yeah. And it tells you that in Revelation 18, souls of men. Souls of men, yeah. I got, I got some real quick. Oh, you got Go a little bit more. It says, it says, whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Come. So if that's what they give for exchange for their soul. They give all their uh, all their talent that they got. They do anything to be famous. But once they there's a catch to it, you know. Once they become famous and all that, they forgot they read this contract that niggas don't even read. Right. <laughs> and, and in the contract in fine print it says, N "Nigga, I got you. You know, I own you. I yep. own you." So and right. then they got. So you you, you yeah. can't renege on the contract. Yeah. That's it, because they got your signature. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this is Habakkuk 2 and 10. Thou hast consulted shame to thy house by cutting off many people and hast sinned against thy soul. That's, that's Esau, man. That's the bankers, man. Esau. Yep. And then it says that his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. Right. 
That's it? Yep, that's yeah, okay. Yeah. Back in the, uh, um, I'm sorry, Jeremiah 49, 49 and 10. But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. Yeah, he's going to be done away with. Him. Right. He's going to be destroyed. But yes. leave thy fatherless children. I will preserve them alive, and let thy widows trust in me. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup, I've assured me drunken. That's talking about us. Right. We're the children, we're the apple of the most high's eyes, and I, and um, we drank the cup. We're drinking the cup right now. Yep. So if we drank the cup, cup and we're the people of the Lord, what's, what do you think gonna happen to you? Yep. It's your turn. It's your turn, Satan. It's your turn, man. You gotta drink the cup. Uh -huh. And this is why they demonize us as the one Westerners, because we're telling the truth in the scriptures. We're telling you what your future is. And you don't get mad at us. We're these messengers, man. Right. We're the weathermen. Yep. If you're going to get mad at somebody, get mad at the most high. Or yep. get mad at yourself. You should have yep. did righteousness. He's no, well, the that's author. what the Lord told uh, Cain. That's right. The Lord told Cain, if you, yeah. if you do right. He had a chance. Yeah. Cain had a chance. That's another topic. Cain had, had, had a chance. Cain had a chance. I'm giving you these beautiful yeah, topics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The Lord told Cain, look, if you do right, shall you not be accepted? Yep. But if you do wrong, sin lieth at the door. door. And unto yep. it, you shall be a servant. Right. So that's, the, the, the Cain is, the word Cain means weapon. What's the blessing of uh, Esau? The weapon. Yep. So he's Cain. It's a weapon. I got some real quick. Uh, Psalms 105 uh, and 14. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Do my prophets no harm. The most important man out there is the prophet, not the high priest. All right? All right, Yaku. Go ahead. Uh, Psalm 75 and 7. I got a precept for you. Uh, Yaku Psalm... means Jacob. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So you would know. Yeah. Go ahead. That's Arabic. Yep. Psalm 75 and 7. But the Mosa is the judge. He put him down one and set of up another for in the hand of the lord there's a cup and the wine is red it is full of mixture and he pours out the same but the dregs thereof all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them yep. That's so you got to take it thus say of the most high deal with it you got to deal with this man we deal with it i'm so glad i'm not an eater <laughs> yeah i'm so glad that's right. That's another topic. Yeah, I'm yeah. so glad that I'm not an Edomite. I have a precept. Go ahead. This is Numbers 11, verse 27. Going back to what you said about the highest the highest thing is a prophet. Uh, Numbers 11, verse 27, it says, And there ran a young man and told Moses and said, Eldad and Medad do prophesy in the camp. And Joshua, the son of Nun, the servant of Moses, one of his young men answered and said, My Lord Moses, forbid them. And Moses said unto him, Envious thou for my sake? Would the Most High that all the Lord's people were prophets, and that the Lord would put his spirit upon them? Make your job easier. Hey, the, well, the, he's actually doing that. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. Joel 2, Joel two Acts yeah. 2. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. I got, I got some. Oh, you got some? Yeah, okay, sure. yeah. Numbers 24 and 15. And he took up his parable and said, Balaam, the son of Beor, have said, and the man whose eyes are open have said, he have said, which heard the words of the Most High and knew the knowledge of the Most High, which saw the vision of the Almighty falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nigh. There shall come a star out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel, and shall smite the corners of Moab, and destroy all the children of Sheth. Yeah, that's the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. That links up with Psalms, the second chapter. Uh oh, smite, uh, smite the corners of Moab. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, with the lasers, uh, you know, smite oh. the corners. You're going to hit yeah, them man, corners, man. Mm. And Moab, man, Moab, you are proud as oh, Sheth, man. Hell yeah. You think you're the next rulers right underneath Esau. 
Well, when your Shai comes back with those angels, you're going to be sadly mistaken. That's what it means by Moab is my wash pot. Right. Because he's washing, he keeps, he's cleaning out Esau. Yep. He's putting Esau out of business. Oh. Yep. You know? Yep. Cleaning him out. And then he said, at Edom, I will cast my shoe. Oh, cast which my shoe. Yep. Which are his shoes. Yep, yep. It's like he's kicking a field goal. Yep, yep, yep. Damn. Yep, yep, yep. You really kicked the field, field goal. Right there. <laughs> it looked like a listen. In other words, the most I gonna bring him to the floor. Yeah. Right. Because that's when you when you take your shoes off, you cast him to yeah. the floor. Yeah, right? that's so that's what he's gonna be. Yep. He's gonna yep. be on the bottom. From the top to the from bottom. The, from the top to the bottom. It says You got it first today, but we're gonna get it last. Bottom. The last shall be first, and the first shall be last. Ooh. So Esau, you're the first. But we're going to be the first. That's right. But our kingdom is going to be an everlasting kingdom. And right. if you're an Edomite, you will be a slave in the kingdom. That's it. If you're another nation, you will be a slave. You're not going to get your ass kicked like Esau, right. but you will be under us, all right? Okay. That's just how it's going to go. That's right. It says, and Edom. They say the difference, too, is our kingdom is going to be a righteous kingdom, unlike your kingdom. This is a kingdom of wickedness. Yeah. Push homosexuality, you push sodomy. If the righteous are in authority, the people will rejoice. If the yeah. wicked bear rule, rule the people, people mourn. mourn. Yeah. Do you, you, your own people are mourning, man. Yep. Damn. Look, when our kingdom comes, everybody, the least man or the least woman or the least child in Israel, they're gonna be, they're gonna be living like kings and, and princesses and princes, Second. man. Yeah, they're gonna be And your kingdom, you, your, your own Edomite. Kind. Kind, yeah. It's, it's, it's catching hell. Yeah. A lot of you Edomites are doing worse than them. Man, I, you know how many times I've run into Edomites that are fucking homeless and, excuse my friend, yeah. bombs and all that, asking for money? Yeah. I don't give them shit. Now, no. I, <laughs> now I give them, now I give them, now I give it to Jake. Yeah. Right. But I ain't giving it to you practice, man. Right. Yeah, because you're supposed to get your piece of the pie from Daddy Rothschild. <laughs> you, should, you should go find the Rothschilds. And we're going to finally get our piece of the pie. Yeah, demand right. the piece. Hey, I'm a Edomite. On the east side, baby, not the west, the east That's side. Right. East side, yeah. You should go to Daddy Rothschild and west say, listen, side. I'm an Edomite. Well, cause I they want don't my know. share. But, but, but they don't know. They don't know this is a big conspiracy, man. And this and this uh, rulership, this New World Order, is only for a handful of Edomites. That's true. Because guess what? That's true. That Guidestone, the, the Georgia Guidestone, where they plan on eliminating, eliminating like 7.5 billion, billion, billion people. Yep. A lot of them are Edomites, man. They're going to they gonna get rid of you, too. They don't need you. They don't yeah. need you. Going back to the term uh, 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 Adolf Schickelgruber, that's uh, Adolf Hitler, he uh, had the term useless eaters. So a lot of the top wicked elite feel that a lot of you lower people are useless eaters. You're not worth anything. Yeah. You know who really made that term, term that current uh, uh, the term? Uh, this guy, Henry Kissinger. Henry Kissinger. But he had to get it from them. Like if you go to Google and you put uses eaters, yeah. it'll bring up Henry K Kissinger and, and, it, and explains what he meant by that. He was talking about the other nations, like the East Indians. We got to kill them and we got to take That's what it meant. Mm. All you got to do is look it up, you know? Now Rothschild could have said it before him. He could take, he could have got it from them. But when you look it up, that saying is equated with with, with him. Yeah, because uh, Adolf Schickelgruber was a uh, he was a grandson of uh, Solomon Rothschild. So we found out he was actually a Rothschild. Anyway, I'm, let me get back to uh, Jeremiah 49 and 12. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assured me drunken. And now thou he that shall altogether go unpunished, thou shalt not. So your punishment is coming now. Give me right quick uh, uh, Deuteronomy 30 verse 7. Uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. He agreed. Yeah, three, seven again. Uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies. Right, Esau and the other nation. Mainly Esau. Go ahead. And on them that hate thee. Which... And on them that who, who hate who hates us? Hold uh Ezekiel, what is that? Ezekiel 35? No one. Oh, yeah. The, the key point is the fifth verse on the top. Right. 
Ezekiel 35 verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it, and say unto it, Thus saith the Lord power. And Mount Seir represents the Edomites. Because the Lord ain't telling us to prophesy against it, a mountain, right? It, that mountain is a metaphor. Mountain represents government. Government right. for people. Go ahead. Say unto it, Thus saith the Lord power, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee. And I will stretch out mine hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. So Esau is not most desolate. Esau being most desolate is when this society, America, yes, Babylon the Great, is totally destroyed, man. By Yahweh Shai, the angels, and the missiles. The Lord said he's going to empty this place. Yep. Sweep it with the besom of destruction. Sweep it with the besom of uh, destruction. Yep. yep. Then that's the only way you're going to go. You have to be destroyed by way of fire. Right. Yeah. And that and does sweep across that fire. Well, across. they showed you that in the movie, uh, Terminator 2. Yeah, yeah. You see with uh, the chick who played Sarah Connor. She was on the fence. Yeah. When the missiles explode, they created a wall of fire that swept across the land. Yeah, yeah. A hot wind. A hot wind, yeah. That's what the Lord means by the besom of destruction. You look up the word besom, it means a sweeping agent. Melt the uh, elements with fervent heat. The elements melt with fervent heat. They showed you that in this movie. Uh, what was the name of that movie? About it came on it came on TV. Oh, uh, the day after. The day after. The day after. Yeah, that, was... that came out in the late 80s. Yep. I think it was 86, 87. And uh, everybody watched that movie, right? And they showed in the movie this farm land. And they showed the yep. horses. And they yep. showed people walking. And when the missiles hit, they showed how the how the the radiation from the missiles swept through them, and all you saw was a skeleton. Right, a skeleton. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the horses, you saw the skeleton. You know what I want? You know what I want? Yep. yep. Zachariah. Zachariah. Yep. <laughs> Zachariah. What's that? Fourteen, right? Fourteen. Yep. yep. Fourteen and twelve. Now, the next day, they uh, had news news companies, Channel Seven News. I think it was Seven that put it out. They were going to like different pubs and bars and restaurants and they were interviewing Edomites only and they said what do you think about the movie now I remember I remember it man like it was yesterday yeah. the one Edomite dude was drinking a beer and he started crying he said I don't want this to happen to me and my family well guess what boy it is gonna happen to you and your family that's right, right? guess what and boy? there's nothing you can do there's nothing you can do about it nothing you can do all the prophets saw it yeah and there ain't gonna be no day after the day after is going to be when we come down and take your motherfucking ass into slavery. Excuse my French. That's right. And we're going to be happy to do it. Yep. Zechariah 14 and 12. It says, and, and, and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away. Yep. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall cons consume away in their mouth. That's that radiation, that fire. Radiation. Worm. You know? Yeah. That's going to be foof. Somebody give me uh, Second Peter's, I believe it's 2 Peter's 3 and 7, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Wait a minute, you got people you that... You start from 1. I love, okay. love start from 1. Okay. Yeah, you got people that say, oh, I don't believe in the I Old got Testament. It. got it. That this is a prophecy written in the Old Testament. That hasn't happened yet. That has, hasn't even happened yet. Well, these Old Testament Hebrews, they don't really understand the scriptures because there's prophecies that haven't taken place in the Old Testament. Exactly. Yeah. So when we ask you about these prophecies, Daniel, Jeremiah, Isaiah, these are all future prophecies that has not taken place even to this day. Yeah. Yeah. There's a scripture where it says a thousand years to us is as one day to the Lord. Yeah, that's right, and that's good today you're about to read. Think yeah. about that, man. That's how powerful our, our, our power is. Think about it. One one day, to, a thousand years to us is as one day to him. So where we at? We got Second it? Peter chapter 3, verse 1. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, and both which I stir up pure your pure mind. minds by way of remembrance. So when do. we come out here, we teach, yep. and it goes, into the ether, 
yeah. through, through, through the web, through, through the YouTube. Through the yeah. This thing goes, the unicorn, this goes throughout the whole planet. There's Chinese people watching us right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's Hawaiians watching us right now. Yep. There's people in uh, Alaska. Senegal and Alaska yeah. watching us right now, man. In South America. So oh, South America. Yeah. yeah. And it's taking root. We got brothers in Italy. Yeah. We got camp. We got brothers doing the same thing that we're doing now in Italy, in Holland, Germany. I was watching them this morning. The brothers were out there on the street. Germany, in Germany. Holland. I, I, I subscribe to them. Yeah. Germany. All over the world, man. Australia. Yeah. Because this ain't our program. Right. This is this gospel shall be preached throughout the, the whole world, and then the then end, the end shall come. come. So guess what? Is this gospel preached throughout the whole world? You got damn right. Yeah, right. right. So what's next? The yeah. end. The microchip. Then the end. Hey, what's we're talking about the over the concentration camps, <laughs> then the end. That's it. Wait a minute. The guillotine, yep. the then end. the end. Then the end. Yep. Wait a minute, man. The missiles, yep. then the end. The martial law, then the end. You know they ain't talking about Jehovah's Witness, because back in 1914, you predicted the end of the world. Jehovah's Witness is all over, was all over the world. Yeah. The end didn't come. The Catholic, Catholic religion, that shit has gone That's all over. That's not the gospel. That's not the gospel. This is the gospel. No, what uh, uh, what's the vocab is a Calvinist? Calvinists is all over the world. Yep. The world ain't come to an end. Plantation Christianity. And what happened to you, Bokan? I'm, 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 I'm disgusted at you. You should, you should be, you know, you. You should be used beautiful. To kind of, come out, you kind of, you should be beautiful, man. Gave up. What the hell happened, bro? Yeah. Where you at? No, you don't attack us no more. Where you yeah. been? You don't like us? You got tired. Right? Cause we love beating you down with these scripts, man. That's right. That's right. That's it. <laughs> so, so come on down to Disco Town. <laughs> Second Peter chapter three verse two, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before. See, this thing makes me happy, man. Oh hell yeah! It I, gives I, me I, a I, joy. It gives me a joy in my heart. And when I come out and do this, man, I like doing this. Man. Come, come. <laughs> it, 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 uh, uh, hey, you guys that don't like doing it, this is like a, a chore for you. Yeah. Guess what? You might not be of the elect. Come. Hey, the Apostle Paul said that in uh, 1 Corinthians 9. You know what I, you know what I want? Uh, yeah, like Casey and the Sunshine Band. Hey, so, so, uh, yeah, Casey and the Sunshine Band. Yeah, how, how you doing up there? You, good. All right, they good. let you read and all that? Yeah, it's last week. Huh? Last week. Let's go. Oh, cool. it's, it's oh yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Of course, of course. Of course, man. Casey and the Sunshine Band had a song. I like the boogie. <laughs> well, this is our boogie. We like the boogie. I got it, Pastor. So you get to bring our precepts around us, brother. Yeah. We let you know, and you utilize what you got, man. Yep. That's it. Whatever you got, you. We got another guy. Let's you. Let's utilize it, man. Uh, but make, you, make use of your talent. Make, that's that's, that's your, your talent. talent. That's your talent to bring out the precepts. Get it working. Yep. Get them chops. <laughs> yep. Chop it. Use them talents. Yeah. You got it, bro. First Corinthians 9 and 14. I'm sorry, 16. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. For necessity is laid upon me. Yea, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. Right. Woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. That's what the apostle Paul said. That's right. Because he understood. He saw the power of the Mokhsai. The Hawabah Shemal shot. He went up into the... Uh, the heaven, the heaven of heavens. That's it. The heaven, the heaven, the heaven. Go ahead, read on. For if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. So hold up, what does that mean? You just can't come out here and do it. You gotta want to do it. You gotta want to live. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You know? Get into it. You gotta want to live. You gotta want to live. Go ahead. But if against my will, as a chore. Oh, I gotta go out. Shit, here. Like Saturday, Friday night. Shit. I gotta go out on the, to the camp. Yeah, there's a scripture where it says uh, we have not, we have piped unto you and you have not danced. Yeah. So Matthew's eleven. So yep. we're putting on a show. We're we're, we're, we're putting on Matter a performance, fact, get that, get that. right? So who the hell wants to go see a performer that's half dead up on stage? You throw something at him. You want the performer to get into the performance, hey, I remember, so you can get into. It. I remember yeah. James Brown when I was young. That's when he was young. He was he was he was coined the, the hardest working man in show business. You know why? Because when he was young. He would be in an arena, and I remember that. And he would dance, he would dance up the motherfucking arena, come down. I mean, this guy would, this guy would just, yo, he would do, he would do this, this yeah, shimmy, yeah, yeah, he'd yeah, do yeah. that motherfucker up, you know, he'd come oh, down, down. Yeah. You know, that one leg, 
Because when you one day, hey, when you, hey, brother, everybody stop to right. see James Brown on TV, man. Yep. You got your money's worth. Oh, oh, you got your money's worth. Why? Because he, because he was bringing you fire. He, he was bringing you passion, right. man. Yeah, passion. That's hey, what I was, was into. This, hey, I was listening to this uh, one video. There's a there's a big group called Kindred, the Family Soul. Oh yeah. I don't yeah, know yeah. if y'all. Yeah, yeah. I heard, but anyway, I heard there's one cut. The first cut that they came yeah, out yeah, with, yeah. I fell in love far with that, away, right? Far away. Far away, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm listening to it. I'm drinking. Yeah. I'm looking at myself. I drink. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, <laughs> Hey, but then, but then yeah. they had a like a live performance, oh, and uh, it was because I think that song came out in uh, 2000. Yeah, somewhere around, around there. 2000. They call that Neo Soul. Neo Soul. It came out yeah. in Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah. But it's a wife and you know, man and wife. Okay. So I clicked on the one. It was in 2016, and the man was had more spirit than the woman. You know, he got this shit going right. because he started singing uh, <clears throat> Zoom by the comic books. Oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. then he kind of flipped it. He spiritually flipped it around. <laughs> and, but he got the crowd going, man. Right. I mean, I was even going. <laughs> right, 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 right. And he got the crowd. He was in the spirit. Right, right. He was in the, she was in the spirit, too. But he was really in the spirit, man. Right. And when you go to a concert and, it, and a guy, he gets into the spirit, that yeah, gets yeah. you into the spirit. Oh, yeah. So when you come in, when you deal with this truth, you got to be in the spirit, man. Yeah, yeah. You can't, you can't. You know, uh, dark eyes, <laughs> right, right. Light eyes, cry yeah. eyes. You can't be like that. Monotone. Dude. Yeah, you got, you got, you got, you got it. The fire got to come through you, man. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's, That's a lesson. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Because it's fire. infectious, right? Yeah, yeah. Some, somebody, they might not know what you. I don't know what he's saying, but he's so passionate yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah. It's kind of, I want and some. Like, <laughs> and like when I do my walk, I hate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I look. I say I got to do something. Wait till eleven. I do whatever. Do the walk. I yeah. get mad and shit. But then I'll put the useless mullet thing on. Oh, yes. then, then I'm walking, right? Oh, yeah. And I and I say, I'm going to go to this point. I'm going to turn around, but then the spirit thing, nah, keep going. Yeah, then yeah. I'll keep going, man. Yeah, yeah. I might do an extra mile. Yeah. And then I might just start running. Because oh, yeah, yeah. the spirit is on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The spirit, everything that you do has got to be through the spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the spirit got to be on fire. Get into you know? it, yeah. You put in that Terminator 2 soundtrack. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, yeah, don't, yeah, don't, yeah, don't, yeah, don't, yeah, don't, yeah, don't, yeah. Don't, yeah. Well, that makes you really walk. Man. And hey, people be getting out of your way. People be getting out of your way because yeah. you're uh, focused. And then, mostly uh, I listen to, uh, uh, I listen focus, to like, Houston Mullins. You know, yeah, yeah, cut, cut. And, uh, yeah, Jordan cool. Maxwell and, you know. Yeah, that but yeah, but that, no, that will get you. Man, that, 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 that's a bad soundtrack. That, that, that. Oh. Who's reading? Uh, me. Second Peter 3 and 2. That says that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment. Well, that's what we had to do. We didn't have to speak our own words. We had to speak the words of the holy prophets. Go ahead. And of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last day scoffers walking after their own lusts. And, and, and we know that too too well. Yep. They come over on a counter board talking talking mess. Yep. You know? And, and then, one guy put a comment and I was gonna make a video on it and I'll go back, I'll find a comment, and I think you put a comment on it. The guy was saying uh something to affect you guys. Don't have 100 yeah, yeah, yeah. There's other oh, camps yeah, yeah. out there. Yeah, yeah. And he mentioned, uh, uh, this guy, uh, I'll wrap the, the news. news. And in the video, I said, I said, no, I, I ran into that guy. He came yeah. down to the camp. Yep. I said, that brother don't got 100 percent truth. Yeah, he you know? bugged out. And then he, he said, Big it. Judah. And I said, Big Judah don't got the truth, 100 percent truth either, man. Yeah. And, and, and if you want to go deeper, I, 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 None of them guys, man. They don't they don't deal with the market. If you're not dealing with the market at least, guess what? You don't have hundred percent truth. Right. Done. Done. Second Peter 3, verse 4. And saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Yeah, because what are they saying? Read that again, please. Okay. It says, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Yeah, because they had that attitude back there because they figured the Lord was going to come back quick. Even, even the apostles said that in uh, 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 Acts 1 and 6. Somebody go, go to Acts 1, verse 5 and 6. Yep. 
Because when they saw the Lord come back, they, oh, now he's going to yeah, take yeah. down the Roman. Right. Yep. He right, did right. say he could call, call 12,000 legions of, uh, angels, yeah. right? Right. They saw the power. So they said, man, now how is that going to destroy these mm -hmm. Romans? Oh, but, 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 he, but he checked them. Yeah. Yeah. He said, no, no. He didn't tell them that you still going to have to wait. He didn't. They didn't realize that they were going to have to go to sleep. Oh, yeah. Come back, go to sleep again, and fill out and fulfill the prophecies in Deuteronomy and the other prophecies that are going to slavery. Yeah. How yeah. the hell are you going to go in this kingdom where you haven't fulfilled, fulfilled Deuteronomy the 28? Uh -huh. Right? That would make the most high a liar. So every word got to be fulfilled, right? Yeah. Um, I wanted to say Matthew 24 because he told the disciples wanted to know when what if that was the end. He yeah. said, Look, the end ain't yet. He said, Look, nations are going to rise up against nation, kingdom against kingdom, famines, you know, and all that. They didn't that he was talking about 2,000 years right. in the future. Right, right. Yeah, because Moses prophesied about Yahweh Shai, and from the time of Yahweh Shai to, I mean, from the time of Moses to Yahweh Shai was about what? Uh, a little more than 2,000 years, right? Yeah, yeah, more than that, yeah. Yeah, so. About three, maybe a little more than 3,000 yeah, so, years. So, so, from the time of Moses, Moses to Yahweh Shai? Uh, we're talking, four, maybe four we're thousand. talking, no, 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 we're talking, uh, no, about 1,500 years. Yeah, 1500. so that's what. It wasn't that far. Right, okay. The 1500 years. Yeah, showing you to show you that the oh, word of the Lord could come. No, 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 no. It was, it was right. It was about 3,500 okay. years. Okay. 3,000. That's a lot. That's a lot. Of yeah, years, yeah. My point I'm trying to make is, from the time the Lord gave a prophecy, it's up to Him when He wants it to to uh, come to be well, accomplished. Time, time ain't nothing to the Most right, High. Right, right. Most High created time. Right, right. But it's time to Him. Right, exactly. To us, it's, we're mere mortals. Yeah, exactly. But, but to the Heavenly Father, time is. Look, yeah. I created time. Yep. Nope. Yep. Um, yep. Uh, so it says, Second Peter three and four, and saying, "Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation." That's, that's, hey, you can apply that to the year 2000, 1999. Mo passed. Them guys from One West when the split came. And all the after Mo passed and after the year 2000, especially. That's when a lot of guys just went back into the world. And a lot of these guys that came back, why? Because they started watching us on yep. YouTube. Right. Yep. And they're seeing the prophecies come to pass. Right. Yeah, so they're trying to hop back in it, man. Well, look, you should have kept going. We kept going, man. Right. In fact, I got a precept. We was out there on 34th Street back in, uh, before 1999, 2001, yep. 2002, yep. but you didn't see us. Yep. Well, we, we had 10 hard years of when nobody was listening from 1996 to 2006. 97. Yeah, 97. Yeah. Wasn't that on 4th Street, Bastard? Oh, that was way that was back. That was in the 90s, 90s. That was like the late 80s, man. Late 80s, early 90s. That was like 80, 87, 88. I remember I seen. Well, it was me. It was me. Right. Well, me and me and this me and Lahav set up that camp down there, and Ari Allen, Gaddy brother, he was. We had the camp. And then Yashawan got it, and we left it alone to go someplace else. But that, we talk, we talk about the 80s, man. Yeah, we talking about the 80s, brother. <laughs> yep. I came, I came in 1990. Yeah. Long time. Yeah, because when we went out there, it was me and Lahab by ourselves. And he used to speak, and I just read. That's all I, I was happy to read, you know? I was a young man back then, you know? Read with passion. Yeah. Uh, Luke 9 and 62, it says, And Yahweh said unto him, no man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the Most High. Yeah, so you can't stop. And, and the thing that opened the floodgates of this truth is what? The YouTube, man. Yep. Yeah, I got one. See, Esau's regret the fact that they even set up YouTube. Well, you always use uh, yeah. uh, Rockefeller, Jay yeah. Rockefeller. Jay Rockefeller. They said we should have never invented the, the, the internet, man. Right? That's what he said. And that's on YouTube. If you put that in the YouTube and you put in Jay Rockefeller, we should have never invented the, the, the internet. It's got to be in there unless they took it out. Kind you know? Because the internet is revealing this man. But then that goes back to Bible prophecy. The Apostle Paul said that man of sin be revealed, be exposed before he goes down. So that's what we're in the time of you so called white people. That you call it that. Get that too. Yeah. Let's go to that. Yeah. Okay. I, I, had one I got you. I no, got go you. Go ahead. You can hold it. Okay, I got uh, it, I got uh, John, it. John 4 and 34. Yahweh Shai saith unto him, or unto them, 
My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Yeah. Like yeah, and, and the scriptures say too um, that when this devil is about to go down, there's going to be certain events that takes place. One of them is the yeah. internet. Another one no, is the person, the king of Babylon out, telling them they, that their power is going to be brought down. And this is another one too in 2 Thessalonians. Do uh, you want me to start at the first verse? Start or? at the top. Yeah. Okay. Key uh, point is really the third. Let's start okay. at the top. Uh, Second Let's try to read that whole uh, chapter. chapter see what happens. All right, Second Thessalonians 2 and 1. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai, and by our gathering together unto him, that you be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as that the day of Yahweh Shai is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. So Paul said that, right? Yeah. He said you're gonna fall away first, and what right. he meant by that is you're gonna be scattered, uh, scattered throughout the whole planet. You're gonna go into slavery, gotcha. you know. Luke 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what was it? 21 and 24. 24. Back up what Pastor just said. Uh, Luke 21 and 24. Uh, it says, uh, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So the Gentiles been in there ever since uh, 70 AD. Yeah. There's a scripture in Luke, I believe it's Luke 20 or maybe Luke 19, where it says that they, they your enemy have built a trench around them. Uh, that's 19, I believe. 19, 19. Where, where <clears throat> um, I'm in 19. Yeah. 41. Right, sounds like 41. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Down. That trench was a fulfillment of uh, 70 AD. Right. When Titus, they uh, built a wall around the wall of Jerusalem. Because with the wall of Jerusalem, the city of Jerusalem, you can go in and come out. So what the Romans did was they built a wall themselves, a trench around it, where they couldn't come in and they couldn't get out. And what did they do? They ran out of food. And this is what right. they're doing right now. Yeah. This is what they're doing right now, man. Yep. The food being cut off. Yeah. Yep. And then it got so bad that they were eating their children. So this is a heinous, this double is heinous, man. Yeah. This is the, the accident he did is heinous. Yeah, that's heavy what Apostle just said, because they are building the trench, because uh, spiritually, with all the draconian legislation, that's the government building the trench, surrounded, before they make the, the assault, yep. before they move in with their soldiers, just like they did back then. I got a quick precept, I mean, precept. Don't get that, brother. I don't know if you got that jab yet. No, don't, don't. No. If they, if they, if they gotta grab you up and throw no, you, no, man, no, I'm, I'm accept gonna, death. I'll, I'll tell you that. I don't want to. Brother. All right. I, I, I don't have that. Right. I don't All care right. about that. I'm just saying in the general, brother. No, I, 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 I appreciate the warning. No, no. Okay. I looked at the word heinous, extremely wicked, deeply criminal. This man is extremely wicked, man. Deeply well, criminal. Wicked. Most I created him to be the wicked. If they're right. giving you a hundred dollars. Well, what if they said we're gonna give you a thousand dollars? There's gonna be Jake's that's gonna take it. Oh yeah. Because they don't know what's behind it, man. Now we were talking about it in the car. We can't even go into it because they'll cut this video. They'll cut this video off, man. We were talking about the real reason why they giving people the jab, man. Yep. You know? uh, there's a little young boy oh, yeah. from England. Yeah. Dropping. He was dropping it, man. Yeah, like yeah. he was an old dude. You know, he's driving it like an old Jeep. Yep. yep. Uh, this is Proverbs 16 and 4. It says, The Lord hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Yeah, that's the, that's the so called white man. Yeah. That's the Esau. Yep. Yeah. The Lord created him. So he is, he's being what the Lord created him to be. Then King David said, Deliver me from the wicked, which is thy sword. So he's the, the left hand of the Heavenly Father. Esau is the left hand. Go ahead. Go back to the Thess Second Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except they come of they come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed. So he's being revealed. The man the, the wicked is are the Edomites. Yep. Alright? Which they're still here, which which uh happen to be the so-called white man. 
Now you're gonna have Israelites that look just like Edomites, but they're not Edomites. So you flow through the spirit. Right. And like when you showed me the little boy, yeah. you look like a white boy. Right. Well, what was the first thing that came out of my mouth when I saw him? He said a Negro. I said he's a Jake. Yeah. Yeah. He looked yeah. like a little white little boy from England, but I said that guy's a Jake. Yep. Yeah. That guy, that guy's a young Jake, man. Right? Yep. And he was speaking with authority too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he wasn't stuttering. He was like a stripling. It says, um, the son of perdition. Yeah, the son of destruction. Anything that the so-called white man puts his hand to, it ends up in destruction. Case in point, America. America at one time was a beautiful land. Look where it is now. Because, uh, the earth is defiled under the happiness thereof. Right, if he's allowed yeah. to rule, like, uh, uh, like a scripture said, there's no flesh left to be saved. Oh, yeah. Because he's not only is he hell bent on destroying everybody, he's hell bent on destroying himself. He'll destroy himself. I have a precept. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 8. Because thou hast spoiled many nations, mm. all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee. Through his philosophy, he spoiled many nations. Look at the Arabs. The so called Arabs are fighting valiantly to keep him out of their land. Why? Right, because he goes in there, he wants to turn the <coughs> men into uh, uh, beta males. The men are used to controlling them. Yeah, yeah, controlling that. Yeah, Everybody's women. waking up to who the devil is. Exactly. That's it. The men are Everybody's it. waking up. Yep, the men are used to controlling their women, which is, is, is ancient as the scriptures. But here comes Esau. No, you got to have 50 50. No, she, she got just as much right as you. And, you know, the men are not tolerating. They're not having it. Hey, now check this out, right? In the Olympics, I believe it's the Olympics, you had these two, I don't know if they were Taiwanese women. You no, know, they like look like Moabite women, a yeah. little darker. And it was three, three, supposed to be three women weightlifting. Yeah. And the one woman, like an Edomite woman, won. But it's a transgender. Look at that. And then they saw they showed the two of them kneeling on the ground, looking down like, you know, like like they was like disgusted and but just that's unfair. defeated. Exactly. Cause he's a man. But see, that's this man. This yeah. man wants you to believe the uh, void your senses. Your senses are telling you this is a man. Right. But according to this man, you got no. It changes it changes plumbing, so now it's a woman. Come on, man. That's an insult to your intelligence, man. Yeah. That's an yep. insult to your intelligence. That's this man. That's Esau. Hey, and, and and these uh these trans, they they're they're wreaking havoc on women's sports. Cause they're coming in there and, and, and breaking records and you know, and women are pretty much getting pushed to the side. Hey, but you want equal rights. It says in Nahum 3, they should become like women. Woo. So they're men looking like they're women. Yeah. I have a precept. Bruce agenda. And the Lord said, if a man so much as wear a woman's clothing or a woman's attire, right? Uh, pursuant to uh, Deuteronomy 21 and 5, if a man so much as wear women's clothing, mm. he's an abomination to the Lord. So how much more a man that changes his plumbing? Right? Yeah. Is he not an abomination to the law? Yeah. <laughs> because the devil allows that. Here it is. It's not good enough that the Most High made them either male or female. Right. They they want to be what they want to be. Right. They shall seek to change times and laws. Ooh. All this stuff, all this evidence. We got the receipts. We got the we receipts. Got a, we got a box of receipts, receipts on your ass. Cracker. We got the receipts, man. Ain't nothing you... Look, we're, your, we're the lawyers of the... <laughs> Represent right. that's on that's behalf of that. Uh, and we're yeah. bringing and we're this in court. court right now. That's we're right. in court. Yeah. That's right. We're, we're in court, court right now, man. And you're guilty. Every so. once in a while, you send your de the defense, defense attorney, which is vocab, right. and he gets chopped up. He's man. weak. <laughs> weak defense. Go attorney. on home, vocab. You ain't on our level, man. <laughs> yeah, go to the store, get some depends, <laughs> undergarments. And that depends. And uh, go to your summer retirement home. <laughs> Free stuff. Yeah. This is Isaiah 29, 16. It says, Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Yeah, in other words, what's what's the potter's clay worth? Nothing. Right. That's what the so-called white men have done. He's turned That's everything right. upside down. Yeah. The brother just gave a perfect it. example. Uh, way, I mean, you can drink it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is way better. Yeah, I know, you're right, you're right. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, the, the brother just gave a what perfect you can do example. With that, those okay, it says, "Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay." Yeah, the potter's clay is worth nothing. So it's nothing for the heavenly Father to turn it 
right side right. up. I mean, I mean, you and you know what? Second Peter three and thirteen. Second Peter three and thirteen says we look for a kingdom of righteousness. Right. Somebody get that. Second Peter three. As a matter of fact, I give him a bottle. Okay, yeah. I will. Yep. And give him a bottle. No, no, you can. You, you, you got mine. The water. Go ahead. Yeah. All right, second. Knock yourself out. You, you, you use that stuff to clean your shoes. Second <laughs> okay. Peter 3 and 13. Uh, can I, I'm going to read this real quick. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. This is our Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 26. Yep. It says, Disquieting of good men, forgetfulness of good turns, defiling of souls, changing of kind. Yeah. Changing of kind. <laughs> Who's that talking about? <laughs> Disorder in marriages. Oh, a, a, a wait a minute. Divorce. Were you, were you, were you uh, Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 26. Yeah, this man got something called a no-fault divorce. Hold up, man. What's he pushing here? You shouldn't marry. You shouldn't get married in the first place. Don't get married, you stupid Is, is, is that good for family values? No-fault divorce? I'm with you. <laughs> hey, we only bring out facts here, man. Facts. You can't deny it, man. Facts. Facts over emotions. Yep. Go ahead, bro. So it says, Wisdom of Solomon 14, 26. Disquieting of good men, yep. forgetfulness of good turns, defiling of souls, changing of kind. Defiling of souls. What is Hollywood all about? They defile souls in Hollywood, man. Yeah. Souls of men. Check out the child actors. They're never the same. Uh, yeah. Yep. The child actors all bug the hell out, man, because yeah. of what they did to them when they were so children. They turned them out. They turned them out. Uh, Corey yeah. Feldman. Corey He's, Feldman. The other guy died. The other yeah. one killed uh, Corey himself. Hain. Hain. Corey Hain. Yeah, he yeah. killed himself. He killed himself. I think yeah, so. Because of that. Well, he and made Biden, it man. Biden, that, that dude, man. Yeah. He loved feeling up on them little girls, man. You, you see that video? He was feeling up on the little girl and shit. Yeah, this, 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 this place is dumb, man. You got, you got the president and the vice president that nobody, their, their ratings are going down. Quick, man. This is a joke. It's a joke. That administration is a joke, man. And you ain't going to get hope. Start September 13th, if you uh, work in the city, if you're a civil uh, uh, servant, which means you're a police officer, fireman, EMS, doctors, lawyers, whatever whatever you, whatever job you get from the city, if, if, the, if the NYC signs your check, you got to get the, the thing, man. Or, or you got to get tested every week. Every week. Now. He threw it out. Who threw it out? Uh, what's his name? The, the mayor. The bar, he threw it. He said, yeah. "What did he say?" He said, "No more. You don't. You don't have that option no more. You gotta oh, get. Yeah, the, you have to only be vaccinated. No. Yeah. no so you don't. So it's not. So he threw that out too. Only leave. There's no uh, vaccination no. for the healthcare workers, for the city workers. But the eventually they're gonna get everybody. City oh, yeah, workers. Yeah, yeah. Eventually they're gonna they're gonna, they're gonna get everybody. Yeah. Then they have it where the people that haven't taken uh, looked at side eye by the people that have taken yeah, uh, demonized so what this devil is doing is causing division yeah now that goes back to the scripture how I said a nation divided against itself cannot stand man. Uh, that's why that's why we know oh now there's a thing called uh, what's the term balkanization Bulk somebody looked that up balkanization balkanization I think you had brought it out a couple of weeks ago. I know, they, know I already know what it means. Yeah. 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 A couple of weeks.